Hello, welcome to my first video vlog, vlog, whatever it's called. Um, this one is going to be how I make my morning cup of coffee. And as you can see, it's probably overcomplicated, but I like it. It's a lot of fun. Bill's coffee, so good, is my favorite blend right now. Fair trade raw cane sugar from Malawi. Organic cream lined milk in a glass jug. Filtered water, a Bodum original French press, a Ziploc bag, little Tupperware thing, as small as you can get it, but also canister shaped, uh, not like for sandwiches. We have a cutting board, a rolling pin, a wooden stirring spoon, average spoon, and a tablespoon. To start off, you need to boil some water. I like to make sure it's fresh. While that's going, you have to get the coffee ready. I don't have a coffee grinder, so this is how I grind my coffee. Four tablespoons of beans. Four tablespoons. Always freeze your beans. From here, you roll them. You don't want to get it until you don't really hear any loud cracks anymore. And you will get holes. Maybe some plastic bits. I recommend freezer bags if you have them. I guess there's a big about a quarter cup of milk. Put that in the Tupperware. Water just about boiling. Pour it all over the grounds. Just shake it up. And a cap with the French press. Cap. It probably ends up being about two teaspoons of sugar. Of course, you need a timer for the coffee, which I don't really need to use the iPhone for. We wait. With milk, you can microwave it or do whatever you want to make it warm. I usually don't do any of that because I don't have a microwave. One of the keys I found through my extensive research is that you have to shake the milk. Not, not just like shake it lightly, but vigorously. You want it to foam up. This is how I steam my milk. I take out the steam and I just shake it. Shake it vigorously. Vigorously. Vigorously like you're trying to kill it. I like to brew my coffee for five minutes. Which means I have five minutes to do something productive. Or to sit here and shake milk. Like whipping egg whites, the more you do it, the more fun the result is. I try to double the volume, but I can generally get a really nice foam on top. Alright, my timer's just got off, so I press just the weight in my hand. I haven't figured out a better way to do this. You can't even press all the way, there's more grounds than this thing is built for. You need a lot of grounds. The more grounds the better. Tried it with six actually, six tablespoons. That was a bit much. I could only get about four ounces of coffee. Pour the coffee over the sugar and stir at the same time. The last shaking. You can see how fuzzy this milk is. And you just pour it in. Give you a nice little froth on top. There you have it. 